Hello again, everybody. It's time again for Don's Basketball this afternoon from the McCarthy Athletic Center in Spokane, Washington. The Dons of San Francisco try to make it two straight wins in the middle game of a three-game road swing as they take on the WCC leading Gonzaga Bulldogs. I was extremely proud of our team's effort tonight. I mean, four overtimes at Gonzaga on their floor, sold out crowd. Uh, it was a great experience for our team. And, you know, again, I was, I was just so pleased with our effort and the way that we played as a team. I thought our defense was much improved and, you know, to have lost Taj um, during the game and, you know, Taylor fell out, Z fell out, and, you know, we still hung in there. And, and again, I'm just, I'm extremely proud of the way that we played. Some of the things that some of our players did tonight, I told them it was almost superhuman. I mean, Paige goes up and tips a ball in and she was near the rim and Anna hits a three to put us into overtime. Andrea Gordon hits a three to put us into overtime. And um, they just continue to come up making big plays and it just was the sign of them really, really wanting the game. Anyone watching the game had to have enjoyed um, just both teams and the way that both teams played and, and battled. And it was, it was just, it was exciting to be a part of it. Would I like to have won the game? Of course. And, you know, they killed us on the boards and there are things that we need to improve, but uh, I'm proud of how hard we fought. Michaela had a big game tonight on both ends of the floor, offensively and defensively. Um, she's improving every single time she steps on the floor in practice and games. And, um, she was able to get it done tonight as a freshman and you know I'm excited about uh, what the future looks like for her and for our program but you know to, to have played on one of the biggest stages in women's basketball sold out crowd at Gonzaga and play with so much poise uh, I, I'm impressed. Bikes to the hole a little too hard speeds the tap count it and we're tied at 64 with a minute left. Free throw Don's need a three to get to the extra session. Dykes to Silent, Silent right side, her foot was on the line, it goes in, the officials say it was a three, that ties it at 62, we go to, we're going to go to overtime as Tinkle misses wide. Wolfram, Wolfram ready to back in against Speeds, runs right into Speeds, no basket, she's called for the charge, see you later Wolfram, that's her fifth, we're going to a second overtime. Gets it to Groniker. Groniker driving. Speeds takes the flop. Draws the charge. He gets it ahead to Silent. Silent racing Sturton. The Dons can play keep away. And Silent gets grabbed hard by the left elbow by Nillis. It's up. It's good. 70-68. The Dons trying to hold out the victory. They need a stop with 20 seconds left. Up top, Dykes against Sherbert. Sherbert drives, lets it go, it's in with eight seconds. Dons trying to play for the victory, six seconds. We're tied at 70. Here's Dykes from the top of the lane, she fires. It is no good. Put back try by Rakova, too late. It went in. And we're going to a third overtime. Dykes has Silent on the left, Gordon on the right. Fires at the Silent in the left corner. 13 to shoot. Silent back up across the zone. Top to Dykes. Baseline. Rakova makes the jumper. And the Dons go ahead by two. 73-71. 3.50 to go in the third overtime in Spokane. And they've also got Gordon out there with speed. 17 seconds left. Dons need a three. If you want to think about a victory, Speeds in the corner. Speeds back to Gordon. Silent being trailed by Albanez. Nine seconds. Gordon for three. She makes it! Holy Toledo! 6.4 left. Sturton down the floor. Four seconds. Three seconds. Sturton to Tinkle. Tinkle fires. Off the iron. No good! Four overtimes. This is going to a fourth overtime. Ball's in the air, and the tap is going to be grabbed by Kalen Gordon to the hole. The layup is in, and the Dons lead it by four. But it took four overtimes for the Gags to defeat the Dons.